Hello fellow writers, is Emerson here and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing books that have influenced my writing tag. This is a writing tag that was created by Sarah Labratt. I will be linking her original video down below and her channel. She is such a dear and when she did this I was like this is the perfect type of video and such a great tag that I wanted to do it so please check her out if you don't know her or you haven't before and let's get right into this video. Now I should start off saying that I don't have like physical copies of most of these books. I don't own a ton of books. I mostly do ebooks or the library and things like that so I don't have a lot of these books in my possessions. But the first book that has influenced my writing is, of course, I think I, I've mentioned it before on my channel, it's the Harry Potter series. We are not going to talk about J.K. Rowling. That is a, that is a heavy conversation and let's just say I don't agree with a lot of the stances she's been taking recently. But I'm going to separate that from Harry Potter and talk about this. Harry Potter was such a defining series in my childhood and me loving to write and read in general. My mom read Harry Potter to me as a child. The It's what made me fell in love with the fantasy genre and that is the genre that I am currently writing. So such an impact. It started it all for me. I Harry Potter just has a special spot in my heart. I even have a Harry Potter tattoo, that type of thing. So it influenced my writing. Obviously my love for fantasy is where it shows up the most, but also the young adult, but specifically talking about the last like four, five, and six, and seven <laughs> books in the series, I loved the darker tones of that and just character growth and seeing that in Harry really is what I strive for in my writing to convey. So it definitely influences the type of character development. I love a good hero's journey which is what Harry goes through. So those influence definitely show up in my writing. Now this is one of the few books I actually have in my possession and that is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. This book influenced my writing more so in my love for kind of flowery writing. It's something I've definitely had to tone down, pull away from, but when I first started writing everything was so flowery because of this book and classics like this book. I went through a phase where I only read classics for a good about a year and so and it all started with this one and so how I write my writing influences and things like that come from The Scarlet Letter and plus I like I said I love darker deeper themes and I love the symbolism in that book so much and those are things I really draw into my writing. All right, we are breezing through this list. The next book would be A Thousand Splendid Sons by, I'm going to slaughter this name, um, but I believe it's Khalid Husseini. I hope that is right. Um, but either way, that book is literally just a masterpiece in my mind and is everything like I strive to be as a writer from the story, from the emotion that it evokes. It is obviously it's not without flaws, but it's like the closest thing to perfection in my mind. I read that book again and again over time and it still has the same impact on me even though I know what's going to happen. I can prepare myself all I want for these scenes and yet it still like evokes emotion. It still pings something out of me and that is what I strive for as a writer. I have mentioned obviously I like darker themes. 
I like a little bit of sadness, a little bit of angst in my writing. And I strive to write and evoke emotion as it is done in that book. And also just the storytelling and, um, and how it just brings light to a very specific time in history in Afghanistan is very interesting and I love history and try to pull in and take inspiration from history anywhere I can. Specifically, I like ancient history, but the influences of that time and how it's so well webbed into the story and you don't feel like you're reading a story that is super like dated or anything is really something special and something that it really takes good writing to do. So that book is just like what I strive for, like what I learn and what I push into my writing and kind of what I value in my own writing. So that book has definitely influenced my writing and kind of just where I want to go and what I see and want my writing to do. Now, this one is an interesting one because the other books are like a part of my favorite books of like old time list. This one is not. Um, I didn't even read the full series. I literally was looking and thinking of books and I was like, and this book kept coming to mind and I was just like, it's not one of my favorite books. Like I don't tend to think about this book, but like this book influenced a lot of other books when I was in high school and started writing. And then I found that every single idea I came up with for many years afterwards in, including one of my like works that I kind of had to put on the back burner a little bit, was still influenced by this book and the, not necessarily the genre, but the theme of the book. And that is The Hunger Games by um, Susan Collins. And literally, I'm like, every book is about, like every book idea I came up was a revolution of some sort, most likely YA. Um, I only read the first book. It's not like I don't like the book. It's just not one of my favorites, but yet it influenced my writing so much and just the fact that like all of my story ideas were revolution ideas because of that book and the kind of theme that exploded out of it with uh, many other books after it. So I'm like, I have to put this book on this list because it's true. It influenced my writing in a way that is kind of like, kind of fun. Like, and it just shows like how a book can like really like affect the rest of the like market and books that are coming around it and how certain things just stick with you. And you know, the revolution idea in Hunger Games did for me. This one was so hard to come up with. The first one, the first three books were like immediately I knew when watching her video and thinking of the books I was gonna pick. Those were so easy. Hunger Games came like after a minute of thought really. Like it didn't like take a lot for me to come at. This one was so hard. I had to call my sister and ask her and this isn't a specific book. This is a specific type of book. And that is nonfiction, specifically about like wars, influenced my writing. Like I said, history I love and is a huge thing for me. And there was at least a two or three year period while I was in high school in which I only read nonfiction. I literally shout out to my AP US history book because I read that thing as if it was a YA fantasy novel. <laughs> literally, I read the whole thing cover to cover, like nonfiction, nonfiction history books, specifically about wars. I have an example, even now. I'm writing a book on um, my current work is Celtic um, 
ancient Celtic pagan inspired and nonfiction book right here reading. Um, this is Ireland's Immortals, A History of the Gods of Irish Myth. Um, that's not about war, but I literally read these books so much that I was like my high school librarian allowed me to take reference books outside of the library because he knew I enjoyed them and actually appreciated them. And um, which was, you know, taking reference books is a big no-no. So I'm just like, you know what, that's it. It's a whole genre of books. And I can't tell you specific books or specific authors. I literally would just read anything I could get my hands on. <laughs> so that is it when it comes to like my um, five books that influenced my writing the most. It's definitely kind of an eclectic group, I would like to say. Um, and really each book kind of represents the different phases of my life as a writer and how like it all comes up to like what I'm doing now and how it all adds up because like I can associate each book with a specific like era of my writing so it's really interesting to go back and look at these books. Um, thank you Sarah again for coming up with this tag. Again, if you have not heard of her or have not seen any of her videos, links are down below. She's amazing. Go check her out. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give a like. And if you enjoyed this and would like to see more from me, please consider subscribing. If you have any requests of um, videos or just want to talk about books, comment down below. I'll be down there. And again, thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video.